Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are joining a load already started, kind of in progress, just getting out of the station now. We are headed down to the uh, iron, or no, we're headed from the ironworks down to the smelters, what we're doing today. So we are headed down to get some raw iron for the ironworks from the smelter so we'll uh, see how this one goes uh, we had been running doing this I'm not sure different locomotive I know last time than this one so we'll just have to see how this one pans out I'm pretty sure it'll handle it might even be a different 280 cook that we used last time so but this locomotive being one of the newer ones I'm pretty sure we haven't had it down there yet so you know, whatever. I think any of the 280s pretty much should be able to handle this load. So I'd be surprised if it doesn't do it. But I figure we are back in the pretty much all blacked out 280 Cook the Crow. And just kind of going for a ride today. Keeping things simple on the BT. Probably slower than we need to go. Definitely don't need to run this one full blast. That's just gonna put you off the rails most of the time. Or the rolling stock off the rails most of the time. There we go. Looking good. Plenty of wood. Exactly familiar with how the lights would have worked or what they should be. Oh, it sounds like the train accelerates in here for some reason. Alright, still all together. That is why I have the way car on the back of the 10 car train because it's kind of easier to just to tell when things come off the tracks. for braking and or for uh, you know just for site acquisition sure does make it easier here we are heading through the freight depot So much a yard we don't really hold much here pretty functional though and nothing really gets in the way of anything else so it works I haven't seen a need to change much in here some of the stuff on this one I'm not sure if we'll be changing it or starting another new save file soon may just be going about starting a new save file soon Could be the order of the day. changes the way it looks too.
here. Oh, looks like we're good. Yep, no worries. That's good. No front door. Bit of a disappointment. there probably slide this up doesn't sound like we're going too fast probably should actually whoa, let's see that's the steppy thing seriously drive me nuts all right there we go slide the window open now it probably makes a little more sense if we stick our head out the window There we go. Little classic train running. Uh, not really, really bad at running in first person. I'd be the first one to admit that. I have a hard time seeing. Run up front. Make sure we can catch our switches. No point in taking the long way around. So we will be flipping all the switches and headed down into whoa head the light <laughs> it will be uh heading down the valley wow see the light walk into the light walk right through the lights more like it all right here we go now we're gonna just kind of chill going down the hill pretty much a three percent grade here Nothing that we need to break. Look at that thing slap around in the corner. Wow. <clears throat> Definitely moving about. Everything should come through here with no problem, though. Do not have a lot of problems with anything on this, on this layout. This one was made to just be simple and easy. That was kind of the idea as to why this is the save file we gave away. It's good for multiplayer and everything is just simple to run. It's pretty hard to have too many derailments anywhere in this one. Other than speed, speed will get you. No doubt about that. <clears throat> nice overhead look of down at the smelter. Kind of dig that. Dig the overhead look of the <clears throat> little house down here. And the yard off the to the uh, left side coming up here is pretty cool. I've always kind of liked just the way that this layout kind of stuck in here. Really didn't give a lot of pre thought to stuff, just kind of went with what naturally went stuff and stuff in, so. Kind of panned out in interesting, fun ways. A lot of bridge work, but it was really about functionality more so than uh, keeping anything tight or trying to keep necessarily realistic or anything else, quote unquote. It was really just about keeping it easy. Um, I worked this path obviously on a previous save file, but it was, you know, kept closer to the rock and stuff like that, so it was a little more janky and caused a few problems here and there. This one was really designed to just not cause problems. <clears throat> and so everything's just kind of 
smoother and easier to deal with and not really worrying about what the bridges do or look like or anything like that. A lot of these bridges I think will start coming in and replacing things, going for a little better looking places. <clears throat> okay, and turn off the brake. Definitely don't sound like we need that anymore. in there keep a Heisler in there just in case and pretty sure there's a Glenbrook parked in there too somewhere being that we have already made it to the dock we might as well go ahead and throw the load on here quick So I guess what I will do is go ahead and get these loaded up and save you all from the crane simulator. And when we get these all swung and filled up, I will be right back with you. So here we are loaded up. We did actually have to swing over some uh, cordwood here in the process so that we had a full load of iron. So we did sling that over while we were doing it. But uh, there we are, the 10 loaded cars of raw iron headed out to the iron works so jumping back on board here of the crow or the cook 280 oh looks like our fire is dying Might as well stuff it full. We have a fairly decent run. Well, it almost came to a stop like we had some brakes on it. So. I don't think that we do, do we? Let's get on. She did cool off a fair amount sitting there. Then, you know, we did have to run the uh, cordwood over around the yard there, and it is winter time. So you gotta think it's gonna cool off a little faster. Huh. <laughs> Probably not, actually, but. Well, this is warming up. We can't do anything in a hurry anyway. Oh. Uh -oh. Alright. <clears throat> there. A little more convenient to see the switches. Nothing like doing a little bit of wood trimming here and there. Gotta be done, gotta be done. Alright, let's see about bringing this past the end here. Alright, that should about it. with this layout 
without having the looped end down on this side. I mean, it's always kind of too sharp and awkward when you do the loop down on this end, so this layout did not get the loop, which does make it a bit more of a hassle getting loads in and out of the smelter, but, you know, we don't go rocking and rolling through a too sharp a turn there on the end either, so those were kind of the two alternatives I had come up with. Been thinking about trying to close off the loop and seeing if I can find a way to do it decent, but that'll be, who knows. Not sure if I want to keep adding and adjusting to this one, but I think we're going to fill up all the industries for sure, so working on that. Just having some fun running some loads and riding the rails lately. So that's been groovy. Uh, hopefully this can sneak past the cordwood. Because we did just throw the cars back. And then detach the loco so it wasn't foul. And now we just got to kind of sneak by. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Definitely not a lot of room to spare. Be interesting to see how close it actually is. Yeah, as you can see, pretty close there. But we are not foul. And that's what counts. There you go. Right by the edge. Everything working as intended. Cordwood. I always need cordwood. Lots more. That's for sure. Montezuma sitting there. be able to get a loop there quite frankly is as smooth as this one this one is not unsmooth but it doesn't quite end up working out that way on the other side so I'm not sure maybe able to figure out something in there may just save it for a new save file <clears throat> eventually not totally sure the plan there yet all right that one that one there we go, nice look at 14. And hit it. Probably if I turn the brake off, it'd help it go a little faster. Just a guess. Alright, get the bell off. We'll go ahead and let it kick off a little bit of steam for a minute. Just for the visual pleasure of the thing. Yeah, there is mention of the black chuggy smoke coming with that new update too with the coal fired locomotives. So that'll be interesting to see how all that goes. A lot of excitement now brewing about the upcoming updates. Still no word as to when those updates are coming, but definitely getting some buzz about the new updates coming and some looks like some pretty fun stuff on the way so I know I'm one of the excited for it coming around the blind turn here bit here see if we can pick up a little bit of speed for the 
Oh, shoot. Definitely gonna need that at 100 when we hit the ramp here with all the weight. Picking up the weight now. It's kind of amazing, really. At first original height, you look, you know, you're that fast, you're up a couple of stories. It's kind of amazing, really, how fast, you know, two and a half, three percent can climb. Got to take out some of these trees. We'll get a decent look at the smelter on the way out and the layout. on full go. There's not much we can do now. Still a couple of stacks of cordwood down there. Rotates through cordwood like crazy, so it's always nice to have a couple of stacks on deck ready for when you need them. Again, today's a perfect case of where that paid off having the extra stacks there. So it's just nice and easy to Plop it over, drop them off, and we were able to finish out the load thanks to that. Or we'd have been like, I don't know, three or four iron short, which always is no fun. So. The uh, Cook Mogul, or not Cook Mogul, but the Cook. 280 here. I'm not sure if it is a Cook Mogul 280. I don't think it is. I think it's just a Cook 280 and Cook Consolidated. Consolidation, whatever it is. Consolidation. I don't know. <laughs> I forget. We have so many locos now. I'll be the first one to say I'm definitely not, a, you know, a crazy aficionado, as in I know everything about the. Uh, locos because I definitely do not yeah there we go it is a cook consolidation cook locomotive and mock huh don't know what that is so there we go cook consolidation I think that reverse to the wheel type but again not totally sure. I'm sure somebody can leave that one in the links or in the comments down below. I'm sure somebody will know. So if you're wondering, definitely a cool looking locomotive. That's what I think. And it's got enough power to do stuff. It's not uh, the biggest workhorse, <clears throat> that's for sure. But I mean, you know, to me, if you can pull a 10-car train of stuff when you need to, it's kind of all you need to do. <clears throat> After running the uh, longest train we ran, I can say that I am not a huge fan of running trains much more than 10 or 12 cars. So, quite frankly, I'm not going to do a heck of a lot of it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of running the double headers either. I don't think it's necessary. We used to have the two... Uh, Heisler's back to back that we ran for quite a while as a double header set. But at the end of the day I kinda think it's it's more effort than is kinda the reward, I guess. So I don't tend to do it. Keep it simple. A little late to signal, but better late than never. So we'll do that. Trying to get a little better about the actual operations of whistles and stuff. Still really horrible at it. But, you know, when you're the only person in the map, it doesn't really matter. When you're playing multiplayer, it's probably a little more 
to be on it. If I'm being real, just because then you're kind of throwing a warning out there, but... You know, one never knows who's going to hear the whistle anyway. But they are fun. So, you know, do that. That's my take on it. Classic. I just think this one looks fun, especially with the just straight blacked out. Yeah, it's just super nice. I like it. The Blackbird. Definitely cruises down the rail when you let it. No doubt about that. I hear they clock out at around 28 miles an hour or something like that, which makes it the fastest locomotive in the game, so... I myself don't tend to run them at 100% or anything, because every time, you know, I feel like you just dump cars. The uh, rolling stock still doesn't handle that kind of speed, even though some of the locos do. But uh, I'm one of the big advocating for I would love to see uh, upgradable rolling stock. So maybe we can upgrade the rolling stock sometime so it uh, handles a little more speed. You know, different tiered rolling stock I think it'd be cool and show some advancement, you know, in the game. See, this is the part where, like, these locomotives just take off on this side of the freight depot in this first section of track. I have no idea why, but it seems like every locomotive I run through this part just turns around and starts taking off. It's kind of awkward. This train is kind of neat because it's not like a just set it on full blast and leave it alone. You probably run into a few problems here and there. So it is kind of nice in that respect, I find. Gives you a little more reason to actually run the locomotive. Rather than just set it and forget it. The days of the old set and forget and meet the locomotive at the end is probably, I don't know, a thing maybe of the past. The Class 70, you can maybe still get away with some, but that thing rocks so much I never trust it anymore. So I don't know what I feel like the most trustworthy locomotive is anymore. It used to be the Class 70 by far, but I don't know anymore. Rattle down a little bit. As we will have a few switches to take care of up here. Still cruising along at a decent clip.
Fuß holen. Trains rolling out. This one will go this way. This one will go this way. That'll set us up for the dock. Catch the whole train coming in there. Looking good. Here we go. Alright, bring this one up to the dock. Should be good enough. is what I like to call hot dropping. No point in slowing down or stopping and <laughs> making extra work for nothing. This is just the easy way to do it. When it works out right, this is great. How I like to do it, bring it in with a nice little roll and then just kind of chop the power and let it roll out. This one should work out pretty textbook. Everything fine in its home. Alright. That should do it. Of course, it's going to eat it all up, I would think, anyway. We have a bunch of loads to bring out here. Uh, things have been getting low, so as you can see, coal, iron, the whole deal. And then this is just 30 iron at a pop. So, you know, a couple loads to be run for sure but we're gonna start really making some progress on topping off loads here coming up so that will definitely be a thing so the break on there and bring that one to a rest I think all right there we are working at the iron work so with that i think we'll call it a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but sure do help the channel y'all have a great day